Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. Do you know where the sun goes when it sets? Allah tells us in Surah 18 verses 83 to 86 of the Quran, where Dhul Karnain, the Islamic name for either Alexander the Great or Cyrus the Great, takes a little trip to the edge of the world. And they ask you about Dhul Karnain. Say, I shall recite to you something of his story. Verily, we established him in the earth, and we gave him the means of everything. So he followed away. Until, when he reached the setting place of the sun, he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy, or hot water. And he found near it the people. We, Allah, said by inspiration, O Dhul Karnain, either you punish them or treat them with kindness. Notice all the scientific errors in verse 86. Allah says that there is a place where the sun sets. No, there isn't. Allah says that Dhul Karnain reached it. No, he didn't, because it doesn't exist. Allah says that there are people who live there. These people must be imaginary because, again, the place doesn't exist. Allah says that the sun sets in a spring of muddy water. No, it doesn't. If the sun is setting in a spring somewhere on the earth, the sun must be much smaller than the earth. No, it isn't. Muslims who are embarrassed by the sheer stupidity of this passage try to explain it away by insisting that the Quran is only saying that Dhul Karnain reached some sort of body of water and saw the sun's reflection in the water. Thus, these embarrassed Muslims claim, the passage is merely describing the way things appeared to Dhul Karnain. But that interpretation simply won't work, for three reasons. First, this story isn't being told from Dhul Karnain's perspective. It's being told from Allah's perspective. Allah says, we established him, we gave him the means. So Allah is the narrator of this story. And Allah declares that Dhul Karnain reached the setting place of the sun, that he found it setting in a spring of black muddy or hot water, and that he found near it a people. So unless Muslims are trying to convince us that Allah himself was confused about what Dhul Karnain found, they need to take Allah's description seriously. Second, the Quran claims repeatedly to be perfectly clear. If Allah wanted to say, even though Dhul Karnain thought he reached the setting place of the sun, he was mistaken because he was only seeing a reflection in a pool, there are perfectly good Arabic words to say that. But that's not what Allah says in his perfectly clear Quran. Instead, Allah plainly states that Dhul Karnain reached the setting place of the sun, that he found it setting in a spring of black, muddy, or hot water, and that he found near it a people. Third, according to Islamic doctrine, Muhammad is the greatest human interpreter of the Quran. And Muhammad tells us exactly where the sun goes when it sets. Sunan Abu Dawud 4002 It was narrated that Abu Dar said, I was riding behind the Messenger of Allah while he was on a donkey, and the sun was setting. He said, Do you know where this sun sets? I said, Allah and his Messenger know best. He said, It sets in a spring of warm water. Since Muhammad says nothing about Dhul Karnain here, Muslims can't assert that Muhammad was merely describing some sort of optical illusion that Dhul Karnain saw. This is Muhammad telling one of his companions where the sun goes when it sets. And according to Muhammad, the sun sets in a spring of water. Hence, Muslims who try to reinterpret Surah 18 verse 86 of the Quran are telling us that Allah was confused about what Dhul Karnain saw, that the Quran is horribly unclear, and that modern Muslims understand the Quran better than Muhammad did. But in Islam, this would be blasphemy. The only way to be a faithful Muslim, then, is to believe that, in spite of everything we know about our world and the universe, the sun actually sets in a muddy pool and is therefore much smaller than the earth. Perhaps faithful Muslims can schedule a tour bus so that we can all visit the place where the sun sets and meet all the wonderful people who live there. They must have amazing tans. <laughs>